Welcome to day 14 of the Secret Garden step-by-step -step tutorial and you can already see what I'm about to do. Today I'm going to uh, make some more work, to do some more work on the background. And I'm going to add more layers of blue because there are areas in the background that are a bit uneven and um, I would like uh, to, to give the background as much depth as possible. So here we go. I'm using the light ultramarine from Brunswick. And this is, uh, well, maybe I should call this my uh, core business. Building background. And this, the way I do it, um, it is very time consuming. But I love it. Now the tip of this pencil is... Uh, you know, they are wearing down uh, really, but it's still working, so I'm just, I keep using it. I absolutely love blue skies and a couple of years ago I suddenly saw something that I had never I had never realized before if I would think about the blue sky I would think about that blue sky being far high in the sky and at that day there was a um, I suddenly saw that that is absolutely actually not true. The blue sky starts right in front of you. And that is a very strange realization. I, for me, uh, it was a very strange realization. And I suddenly thought, well, when you then color or paint a blue sky, then it should not be like a flat, far away blue uh, just a blue flat piece of color. So when it comes to this particular drawing, the blue sky starts next to the flowers and maybe even in front of the flowers. Since then I, I've looked at blue skies differently. So now when I'm outside and enjoying the sun and the weather and everything and the blue sky then sometimes it feels like I am actually in the blue sky because it surrounds me 
The only thing is that you cannot see a blue color right in front of you. I have to make a confession. I have been killing caterpillars again today. In episode number 13 of this tutorial, I was telling about uh, our beautiful boxwood shrubs in our garden. And uh, they are uh, being invaded by hundreds of caterpillars who are determined to eat every leaf on the plant. Now this layering of background is, it needs, um, you need some patience to do this because only from the seventh or eighth, lay eighth layer you will see what actually this layering will do for you and I am now I don't know how many layers there are. They are so thin. In some areas I'm sure I already have four or five layers and on other areas only two, maybe one. But after seven or eight layers magic is going to happen. Now in this case of the blue sky there is a um, challenge because me, I am, uh, I have the, uh, the tendency to use darker colors when more layers are being uh, colored. But I want this background to look airy and fresh and so I should not use too, too dark colors. So I keep it all very, very light. And I'm pretty sure that because I want it not too dark, that I will not have 20 layers everywhere in the end. I am uh, coloring in direct sunlight right now and these um, brown tail pencils and I'm sure more wax based pencils have this when the sun is warming the pencil the wax the the core becomes softer and I actually like that 
it's just a tiny bit softer and that allows the pencil to um, yeah how do you say that it shows less strokes so the the color comes on the paper more even evenly I'm still having a cold so uh, sometimes I have to uh, to pause pause the recording because I have to uh, to sneeze So and now I'm going to use a dar uh, darker, a lighter color, sky blue, and I'm going to add that to this area. To smooth things out a little bit. Unfortunately, my camera started complaining again because of the direct sunlight and the heat. So I changed my position on the in the room where I am uh, coloring. And now I'm in the shaded area, and I'm going to show you uh, some uh, first signs of magic in the background. It happened here already. So I'm using this uh, the sky blue, and I'm just adding a very light touch. I hope you can see what is happening in the uh, on the camera on the uh, in the video, because this light color of blue. is beautifully blending uh, all the layers Now there is a tiny problem in one area when I zoom in through this very bumpy road 
I don't know if you can see it because it seems less visible on screen than on the paper. But the blue in the here near this flower, there seems to be some sort of pattern in it. It looks like strokes, but actually, I don't think these are strokes. But I don't want to see that, so I need to smooth things out. That is a nice uh, that is nice homework because that is a it, it takes time. It's not difficult but it takes time. Now if you look at these flowers over here you can see in the other the last episode, episode 13, I added more yellow to this these flowers. And now the others, these and this one, looks a bit dull, so there needs to be more color on them as well. Now I have the tendency to, um, to put too much color on flowers, so I'll do this very, very delicately with light colors. This is the Erogeton Almond Blossom, and I'm just adding a little bit of color my camera started complaining again so I continued coloring these um, flowers and here you can see the difference. I just added this almond pink. No, no, it's almond blossom. And it looks um, better, I think. So I will have to do these, these two, but that will be homework. And, um, well, let's do a little bit more now. It's just a very, a very, very light touch. And I think this will be a, a short episode of the Secret Garden Step by Step. Because my nose keeps running and that really doesn't work pretty well. So. Uh, Let's take a little step back. This is it so far and I'll leave it to this today and uh, well I'll see you next time. Bye bye.